Hey YouTube, uh, I'm just going to show you a pretty quick, easy tutorial on how to create a backdoor in um, uh, Metasploit. So, I'm using Kali Linux. Um, you can use Backtrack, and if Kali comes with Metasploit, so does Backtrack, but you can get it on the other Linux distros, and I think you can even get it for Windows. So, um, First, you want to open up the terminal. I already did that. And uh, Metasploit Framework Payload. And then you want to choose the directory. So, Windows Interpreter Reverse TCP. And then now you want to type in your local port. So, I already know mine. And you want to type in, oh shit, I did that backwards, that could have been bad, alright, so you want to do your local host, and then you put in your IP, your local IP, you put your port, and it's, and you do X, and then you want to name it, I'll just do payload.exe, and then what it, now this is going to take a second, and it's just going to create the payload file. While we wait for that, we're going to open up another terminal and type in MSF console. And then wait for that to load. This usually takes a little bit. While we wait, I think I still have this connected. So, yeah. So, I'm going to disconnect that. Go back over here and reconnect it. Alright, so as we can see right here, we uh, created the payload. And then uh, this one, this is still loading. All right, so if we go to our home folder, come on. All right, we can see that there's a payload.exe right here. So now, what we need to do after the Metasploit Framework Console loads is we need to set up the server that will listen on that. Oh shit. I still have the um, previous one from in here. So just go ahead and move this to the trash. Alright. <clears throat> this there we go. Alright, so uh, Metasploit loaded, so we want to type in use exploit multi hand oh shit multi handler. Alright, so now you set your local host to whatever your IP is. And then you set your local port. All right. Oh, whoops. Fuck. I keep messing up. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. And uh, all right. So it's ready. So now you type in exploit. And then now the server that we have is running. So. Let's go ahead and open up our home folder again. And then open up the SD card and then just drag this over and check that disconnected up here. Disconnect. And then now we're going to go over to our Windows 7. Reconnect this. Now, wait for that to load really quick. <laughs> Alright, so now you see that we have the payload.exe right there. Just drag it on. Oh shit. Fuck. It's really laggy. Alright. Drag it onto our desktop. And then we run the payload. Now, nothing spectacular happens, obviously. It doesn't say you're hacked or whatever now 
come back over to here and we see that we have a session open so now we can just type in sys and info and we can see just some basic stuff what operating system is running what architecture what language all right so you can also do other things like you know what actually we'll do this just to give you an idea here's all the different things you can do so you can kill run other tasks background uh, threads uh, you can do a lot of stuff you can right here you can uh, see all the directory type stuff here uh, you can see all the IP information here is like opening shells uh, killing starting processes here you can uh, start a key logger uh, here you can record the microphone you can see the list of webcams you can even take pictures from the webcam yeah you can do a lot so I will show you uh, the key logger because it's a simple example alright so now we open up notepad and we'll just type some words blah blah control all caps box tab it tells you all the different things that you've typed on here so I'll just go ahead and hit some buttons I think it even works with the F keys so we go back over to our Linux machine type in key scan dump and oh whoops I can't really type right now and we can see all the buttons that I pressed and go ahead and end the key scan so key can key scan stop we can look at all the um, running processes um, let's see what's another one that would it's pretty useful I think that's a command nope oh I think it's execute yeah execute minus f cmd.exe alright so now we go over here and we see that another command prompt booted from the other one so we'll go ahead and just run that command again so you can see that so we'll just go over here like this go right here and we see a command prompt window that opened and you can do that with anything it doesn't have to be specific to um, command prompt so you can go ahead and do uh, I think it's I explore I could be wrong yeah I didn't type in the file uh, the file directory I don't know the directory of Internet Explorer by heart but you can do just about anything you wanted you can open up shells and then now I'm basically using a command prompt but yeah you kinda get the idea and then just to end the session you just exit exit oh, exit again and there we're back so uh thanks for watching I'll upload some more tutorials uh, see you guys later